All right, so now we are going to talk about, uh, you know, kind of, we're going to bring everything together, really. Because remember, we're using Git as an analogy for a publishing cycle. Um, you have the working directory, which is your writer's desk. You have the staging index, which is going to act like your outbox or your mailbox. And you have the publisher, which acts like a repository, which is kind of where, like, you know, miles, things are set and packaged. You'll understand more clearly after this example, because, you know, I acknowledge that it's kind of confusing to understand exactly how things are working at first, but hopefully this example will set things straight. So you are at your writer's desk, right? That's, you know, you and that little guy with a suit. If you're a guy or girl, I apologize, but you have all these files. And these files act like, you know, this is your book. We're making a book, remember? And let's say, you know, chapter one looks, you know, you're at a good point. Chapter two looks good. Chapter three looks good. And chapter four looks good. And then you think, yeah, actually, I think I want to make some major changes to chapter four. I don't think I'm ready to send that off to the publisher. You feel free to bring that back to your writer's desk. And, you know, we'll learn how to do that. But the main concept I want you guys to understand is kind of the outbox and the writer's desk are on your property. You feel free to walk out to the mailbox and switch out stuff as much as you want. The publisher, however, is kind of an exterior being. You can't just pull things randomly from the publisher. And we're going to talk about that later of how, you know, you can't just pull random commits from each other. You can ask the publisher to send you the packages that you sent it, but you can't change things that the publisher has. Uh, you know, you can't rewrite history. And we're going to talk about that later, but understand kind of the key fundamentals of that. So anyway, let's say, you know, you're ready to send these three chapters off the publisher. And don't think of the, these, three public, these three chapters as being complete or done or final draft. Absolutely not. And that's not what Git is about. The repository, for most people, is not meant to be a final draft of things. Uh, and, and sometimes they are. Uh, and you'll see that with kind of more you know, famous open source projects. But most of the times, committing to the main repository is just milestones. You know, okay, well, you know, I, I made a new function. This is going to help everyone, so I'll commit it. I'm ready to, you know, give it to everyone and show the world. So most of the times when you commit things, you don't want there to be any bugs or anything or, you know, stuff like that. It should be well commented. Your code or your book should be complete. But you don't need to worry about it being like the absolute final draft. Anyway. Once you're ready to send these outbox files to the publisher, the outbox is going to package them up once you say commit, and then it's going to push it up to the publisher. So now the publisher has a package, because remember, a commit is not a single file. It's a package of files. It's a snapshot of your project. So now the publisher has this package, which they, you know, they very nicely are going to store for you. If you ever need to see what's inside that package, you're more than welcome to do so. But once that package is sent to the repository, you can't change it. Now, those of you more familiar, or those of you, you know, kind of read ahead, you know I'm kind of lying there. There is technically a way you can change the last commit you sent. We're going to get to that. But for now, I want you to think of as soon as you send things to the repository or the publisher, that's they're, gonna, they're fixed there. You've written history, and you can't rewrite history, so there it is. So hopefully that's kind of cleared some things up of how the whole process is going to come together.